Hi there! For today's lesson, we are going to discuss about the transcutaneous electrical nerve stimulation, also known as TENS. Let me introduce to you guys about what is TENS, how it works, and who can use it. So what is TENS? TENS is a non-invasive electrotherapeutic agent that are often used for pain management. How it works? TENS involves the application of electric current pulses that are transmitted by the electrodes through the peripheral skin surface to address pain in a target region. It can be used effectively for neurofatigue, nociceptive and musculoskeletal pain such as low back pain. However, pregnancy, epilepsy, and pacemaker are all contraindicated for TENS. What is the purpose of TENS? Electrical impulses may help to relieve pain and relax the muscles by reducing the pain signals that reach the brain and spinal cord. It also stimulates the production of endorphins, which are the body's natural painkillers. Endocrine theory of TENS TENS is using the pain gate control theory. According to the gate control theory, the spinal cord has a neurological gate that either blocks off or allows pain signal to reach the brain. TENS stimulates the FRN A beta sensory fibers, which is large diameter low threshold fiber. It is a mechanoreceptive fiber that is activated by non noxious stimuli such as light touch and pressure. The A beta fiber activity causes an increase in activity of neurons in the substantia glotinosa of the spinal cord. The substantia glotinosa is the gray matter structure of the dorsal spinal cord that is principally responsible for transmitting and moderating pain, temperature, and touch. Substantia glotinosa activation inhibits transmission of painful sensation. From E delta and C fibers to the brain, both fibers are small diameter higher threshold which is nociceptive that is pain related fibers. As a result, this would lessen pain by preventing nociceptive fiber signals from reaching higher brain areas. Thus, it is said that sensory stimulation of the E beta nerve closes the gate to the signal being transmitted by the nociceptive E delta and C fibers. Introducing transcutaneous electrical nerve stimulation. So TENS is consists of three things which are dual channel device, four two times two electro pads, and lastly two lead wires cathode and anode. Let's learn together on how to use TENS. First, make sure the TENS machine is turned off. Second, place the lead wire plugs into the socket on the TENS unit stop. Third, place the cathode and anode wire on the four electrode pads wire. Next, the therapist explains to the patient about the TENS intervention. After that, the therapist asks the patient where the pain area. Six, attach the pads around the pain area. Placing the pads around the pain area ensures that the nerve responsible for transmitting pain signals are directly stimulated, leading to pain relief and a decrease in discomfort. Make sure to attach the pad to the pain area at least 1 inch apart. After that, press the ON button. Then, change the mode to P1. Next, the therapist increases the frequency to patient's sensation threshold. The therapist asks the patient if he feels pain when increasing the frequency. Do the same to the other one. Make sure to set the timer to 30 minutes. 30 minutes later. After that, turn off the device. And then, type off all the electrode pads. And then, put back the electrode pads on the plastic liner. Now, I'm going to explain about the precaution that you need to take before conducting a TENS. Firstly, you need to avoid placing electrodes directly to the spine. Secondly, you need to stop the treatment if there are any allergic reactions or irritation. Thirdly, if you have a pacemaker, are pregnant, or suffer from epilepsy or a cardiac disease, 
please get a medical counsel before using a tent. Let's move on to the evidence base of the intervention. A study has been conducted to compare the effectiveness of tents and gentle massage when each is applied over the painful area due to low back pain. The result shows that tents is significantly more effective for relieving pain and increasing straight leg raising than massage. So, it is clear that tents is an effective modality for the treatment of low back pain. The next study is a randomized control trial that was done to compare and assess the immediate analgesic effects of conventional and burst tense modes in patients with chronic low back pain. And the result shows that both tense modes were effective for pain modulation. Also, it was noted that there was an increase in the pressure pain threshold. However, no significant results were found to indicate the best mode for the treatment of chronic low back pain. Lastly, a meta-analysis of TANS for chronic low back pain have been done. They performed a meta-analysis to evaluate the efficacy of TANS for the treatment of chronic low back pain. The result shows that treatment of chronic low back pain with TANS demonstrated significant pain reduction. The application of TANS may also lead to less pain medication usage. Hence, it is suggested that TANS should be incorporated into the treatment for chronic low back pain. That is all from us. Thank you for watching.